like shit. <laughs> nice way to start a video, Daisy. Connor, a feeling like shit. I wanted to do something with this video that just makes me happy, and that is talking about my top three. You make me feel super happy. Like I need to go out and get a drink right now. I'm gonna hang out in a rooftop because it's 75 degrees outside. Wind is blowing in my hair. I feel good. I have a pep in my step type of shoes. These suckers have gone through a lot with me. This is by D&G, which is Daisy and George. <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana. I've had these for over 10 years and look how fabulous these are. They've gone through a lot with me. They've seen their endless share of bars, hip lounges, swanky places in New York City, and if these foods could talk, I would put a muzzler over its mouth. I've worn this with so many different outfits. Like, I've had long dresses with this, like long tight dresses. I've worn knees with this. I've worn short dresses with this. I've worn jeans with this, I've worn pants with this, like I just pretty much wore everything with this. I've had many martinis wearing this boot, so <laughs> I love these, they just make me feel good. At a time when I've been struggling so much, mentally, physically, these make me happy and I just wanted to share with you guys because I know a lot of you love designer shoes just like I do. There was this little girl in the train and she was there with her mom, that was sitting on the mom's lap. And the little girl looks no older than maybe seven years old. So I'm looking at the little girl and I see her with this red gold lipstick. And I was like, I didn't even know what to make of it. Like at the moment, I was very indifferent. But then I questioned it. I was sitting with my husband and I asked him, what do you think about that? Do you think that those are the girls, do you think that's something positive for her? And I was like, what does Daisy think about something like that? Someone that loves beauty and makeup and I remember when I was 13 years old, I applied a red lipstick and my mom slapped me because she was like, where the hell did you think you're going with that red lipstick? And I'm like, I'm 13 years old. Acting like I know everything at that age. But this girl was seven years old. What do you make of a seven-year-old little girl wearing bright red lipstick? These, whoo! These are some sexy mamas. They're by Stella McCartney. I am in love with these. They're so like, so fierce and sick and sexy, but like in an understated way because they're just like snug and like knit-like and hug your legs and your curves beautifully. And that's enough comfortable, but yet they're so simple at the same time. I remember when my husband got me this? We were just casually like strolling through the stores downtown. This was years ago. This is probably like 11 years old. I know, fucking crazy. Just happened to go into Stella McCartney and just look around and I told him like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with these damn shoes. He's like, try it on and I'm like, for what? You know, it's like, I'm not gonna buy it. And then next thing I know is that my birthday rolls around and here it is in my room waiting for me, nice and wrapped. And I was just floored. So these bring me great memories. Because many of nights we've gone out and we come home and I see my dad up and he's not waiting for us, but he's watching TV and making sure that we're okay. And we come home drunk and then we're just talking crap with my dad. And he will go with the flow because sometimes my dad will be drunk too. <laughs> and we would just talk about life and just have fun. So, you know, I did it. Daisy lived in a unicorn world, a world full of flowers. We can just float on air and everything was beautiful and soft. I feel like it would be great, but we don't. Tory Burch. I didn't expect to get these. I mean, I went into the store and tried it, and I can't remember the price, to be quite honest with you, because these are also old, I've had them forever. This is like a New York blue. It's like you can wear this in the day, you can wear this in the night. And it has that rugged motorcycle type of look. It has this hardware, and it'll stand the test of time. I mean, this goes with everything. Ties, dress, it's like boots are just very round the mill to me. I've also seen countless days, even when I'm just strolling casually out and about because I just felt like wearing the damn hat. There's peer pressure, there's the pressure of 
girls having to look beautiful. And if you're not beautiful, you're not good enough. You won't succeed. The pressure of always looking right, thin, young, impressionable. It's always upon us, even from a little girl. And I certainly don't think it's a healthy way of um, raising a little girl. 